We close tonight in the Sierra Nevada, home to some of the tallest trees on Earth. But the mighty sequoias are disappearing. Chris Martinez shows us how scientists and volunteers are creating a new generation. This giant sequoia has survived more than 3,000 years. It's one of the largest trees on the planet, but it's now in jeopardy. Scientists say man has cut down more than 90% of the world's ancient trees. Pollution and climate change threaten what's left. I'm going up. Arborist Jacob Millark is on a global mission to save them. There's got to be something special about this tree, how it's lived so long and gotten so big. I will see you at the top. We climbed with Jacob's team to the top of a towering sequoia. How are you doing, Chris? This is amazing. <laughs> it's terrifying and amazing. Up here is where their work begins. We're about at 180, maybe 200 feet on top of a giant sequoia. Climbers collect the tips from branches. This is the newest growth, and this is exactly what we want. Scientists will use that genetic material to essentially clone the tree. Each one of these little things is a tree. The trees are grown in this lab in Michigan, nurtured from sprouts until they're large enough to plant all over the world. We've literally produced about a quarter million trees at least and got them planted in the ground. Why is it so important to do this? It's not for us, it's for the future. So it's a gift uh, to the grandkids, to the kids. A gift they hope will continue to grow for thousands of years. Chris Martinez, CBS News, Sierra Nevada Mountains. And that's the CBS Weekend News for this Saturday. The news continues now on our 24-hour streaming channel, CBSN, at cbsnews.com. I'm Rena Ninen in New York. Thank you for joining us.